It started off like any other day. We were sitting in N. Gregory Mancute economics class, discussing some random theory that made absolutely no sense. And then, out of nowhere, Stephen Colbert pops up on TV and suddenly he's mocking, yes, mocking, our beloved Professor Mancute. It was heart-wrenching. Professor Mancute was stunned. A single tear flowed down his right cheek. His left cheek. It was his right cheek. And just like that, and Gregory Mancube ran out of the room. He was just... gone. That's right, I quit. I was just trying to explain how higher taxes reduce my incentive to work. But you know what else makes it hard to work? Being called out by a comedy news pundit on national TV. The economics is simple. Originally, we had a market supply of one and Gregory Mancube. After the tax hike, we were left with only 0.5 Mancubes. Sure, he came to class, but he just sat there shooting spitballs at us, refusing to teach. He had no incentive to work. But he had such good aim. Then, true disaster struck. The Colbert Effect. The Colbert Effect, as everyone knows, is when good-hearted Americans are so demoralized by semi-attractive talk show hosts that they can no longer work. The Colbert Effect is fatal. Far worse than the tax effect. Thanks to the Colbert Effect, we were left with a supply of zero and Gregory Mancus. I used to be a fan of S. Tyrone Colbert. I TV to show every night. I know I should have stuck with Jon Stewart. In a perfect world, I'd have three N. Gregory Mancus. I already only had one. Now I don't have any at all. We tried going on without our Mancu. We even attempted to use a substitute good. It was horrible. The replacement didn't know anything about marginal tax rates. It just coughed up some lint every few minutes. I can hire a bodyguard to protect me from sticks and stones, but but words, they hurt me. How could you do this to a grown man? He has a wife who has a husband. He has a daughter who has a father. Just yesterday, I paid for a free lunch. It made zero economic sense. I'm going crazy without him. This is on you, Stephen Colbert. You've deprived the entire Harvard community of our man cue. We demand you supply our demand for him. Now are you just gonna sit there with your perfectly combed hair, or are you gonna get off those muscular haunches and do something about it? 